Hey, yo, so look, that Resident Evil movie, at first it was whack to me, I'm not gonna lie. But I'm gonna give that movie an A+, because it because as it went further down the line, it was really Resident Evil, you know. It was really Resident Evil for real. I like how they changed, like, they changed Wesker a lot, but I liked how they changed them. They changed a lot of the characters a lot. I liked it. But look, we're gonna have to address one thing. And I'm gonna say this loud and clear. When that zombie wrote Itchy Tasty on the window, you know, that kind of triggered my depression a little bit because I could have swore weeks ago, you know, I posted a, a a video talking about my friend Austin Tillman, you know, and how we spent all night playing Resident Evil on the GameCube one day and that spot where, so, so, so let's, let's just go down this rabbit hole. I think you can see what's happening but you don't want to acknowledge what's happening because you know you're kind of scared what that implies but let's go let's go down this so a few weeks ago i posted you know about my friend austin and i mentioned that we played resident evil all night one night because that's one of my core memories in my brain structure all right um I remember finding the journal of like a soldier who worked for Umbrella Corps and the last thing he said was itchy, scratchy, tasty. And me and Austin kept laughing about that and it was an inside joke. We'd always bring it up. We'd always be like itchy, scratchy, tasty and laugh. And we just kept doing it. Itchy, scratchy, tasty. And we would say it differently over and over and over again. We would keep laughing and laughing and laughing. That's a core memory inside my brain when you, I'm saying you, I'm, uh, there's, there's a whole component system involved here. When you robbed me of my identity as an African-American, it, I, I don't think it ever occurred to you, you, now I'm talking to you, that I would ever take it this personal. But best believe I took it this personal because I see people getting offended about all types of, of little things, but I'm offended about something ridiculous and extreme that happened to me. Something ridiculous and extreme. And I'm not dropping it, okay? I really love my friends from childhood for real. And it's hard to say that. Like, as a black man, it's hard to just, you know, be like, look, I love you. You know what I'm saying? To your friends, whatever. You know, it's, it's, it's really hard, you know, when you've lived a life of nothing but warfare. You know, nothing but warfare, nothing but, you know, the shit talking, paranoia, all that, you know, whatever. It's I'll just admit it. I love my friends from childhood. All of them. OK, itchy, scratchy, tasty. I think it may have triggered a little bit of depression. In fact, I know it did. I really know it. When I say I think I really mean I know, you know what I'm saying? But I don't know if you'll respect that coming from a man, especially not one of my color, since apparently I'm a racist white man. You know what I'm saying? It's already hard enough being a man in this kind of society where we're bombarded by like so many factors and made to feel like we need to be less masculine in order to make people comfortable as we navigate. I'm pretty sure it triggered a little bit of depression, but I love that movie and it brought me back and it made me think of my friend. You know what I'm saying? And that, that was a good movie. That was a really good movie. I liked it. I liked it. And the simple fact that I'll go to see a movie that I'm a no, I like from childhood and I get a little bit depressed because it makes me think of my friends. You know what I'm saying? I, th this information is available online. Best believe the the information, what leads to depression and psychosis, schizophrenia, dementia, all that. Someone going berserk for real, even though that that's public information online. You can't hide it. You can't hide it. You know, it's accessible. So I think it's General Motors fault. You know that I felt a little bit depressed today when I watched that because just in my brain, just thinking how I was dehumanized and got my black card taken away at work, you know, I I can't even, now I'm thinking of my childhood and all my friends and, you know, I go to watch a movie and, you know, because you're, anything that relates to your memory can affect it. And this is, this is common knowledge for real. You know what I'm saying? I might go into a fit of psychosis. I might go into a fit of psychosis while I'm locked up alone in my room. You know, what am I really talking about for real, though? What am I really talking about for real?
What am I really talking about for real though? Tell me, what am I really talking about for real? Explain it to me. You know who who speaks Ebonics? What am I really saying for real? I'm upset. I hope this lawsuit goes right.